I'm one of the co-founders of Zorbi, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Notion integration to turn your notes straight into Zorbi flashcards. So you can see we've got our hitting set up, and we've got a few different types of flashcards here. One is a standard toggle flashcard like that. Um, this one's another toggle flashcard, but it's a reversible card since we've got that anti-clockwise emoji there. Inside, we've also marked this section to be turned into a text-to-speech block. And the last type of flashcard is a closed deletion. So we'll go and hit sync cards and see what happens. It'll ask you to share the page so that Zorbi can access it. So we'll hit okay. If it's your first time, we'll also ask you for permissions to access the page. We'll hit allow. Now it opens up the sidebar and we'll select the deck we want to put it into. So mystical knowledge and we'll hit start sync. It'll refresh the page after that. And after a few seconds, you'll see review cards up there. So we'll go ahead and click review, let it load up. And there's our synced page. You can see that it also syncs across the headings as subtopics. Um, so we'll go ahead and start studying. Cool. Just in Trudeau. Cool. Just in Ardern. Just in Trudeau. Uh, so this is the reversed version of that card. So that's because we have that anti-clockwise emoji there. Okay. It's Joe Biden. Cool. That's okay. Now, if you want to make any changes to your deck, uh, to your synced page, you can go ahead and make the change on your Notion page. And you can either hit resync over here or hop back into the deck, select the Notion topic and hit resync up here. So we'll let that resync and, and you can see that I updated the card over here. So that's the change I just made. We've also got a bunch of other types of flashcards and I've got a link to a more advanced guide in the description below.